Bonjour, bonjour, mes amis. Aujourd'hui, avec la mix 30. And, well, now in English, hello, hello there, and welcome back to War Thunder. Today, I have for you two amazing gameplay runs in the AMX 30 ACRA. And this battle rating 8.3 French Tech 3 medium tank shall be a little bit of the middle point of this discussion today. This is the first impressions. I had a few lucky runs with scenes like this where I just was a split second faster on the trigger. And so, as you can see, this thing sounds like it fires some ATGMs. And yes, while the hull and overall the rough shape is from an AMX-30, this has a vastly different weapon system with a very unique caliber. 142mm ACRA gun launcher, 36 warheads you have, and you have a heavy machine gun and a light machine gun, which is nice. So you have two shell types, both available from scratch, from, uh, you know, if you're stock fresh out of the box. The first one is straightforward and self-explanatory. The other one is weird. So the first stock is the MP ACRA ATGM. 500 meters per second maximum speed, maximum range 3.8 kilometers, 700 millimeters of penetration. Very good for swatting some pesky helicopters out the sky. And uh, also the post-penetration damage effect on tanks is pretty nice. But for example, when you have to really aim at close quarters, the shell or the missile has a little bit of a delay, especially when it comes to reacting. On the other hand, there is also the reload, which is at best 12 seconds. And that is really that factor that just um, made it all that funny that I got away with this battle. But as you can see, the post-penetration damage effect is quite good. And uh, then I risk it for the biscuit. He has not noticed me, so the entire enemy flank was here falling to my gun system. And then I hear a helicopter. A helicopter. We all know how much I love helicopters, right? We all know it. So, what better thing to do than to make sure that this burning thing in the sky gets actually good by being disassembled into pieces. Because only a helicopter in pieces is a good helicopter. I stand by those words. You know, prove me wrong, but I absolutely hate how Gaijin has implemented them. Ah yeah, the second shell type. <laughs> uh, glad that you remembered me. And so we have the MUC high explosive fragmentation shell. And this is then weird because the maximum speed is 550 meters per second. That indicates an ATGM, but there is no maximum range and you also can't guide it. And the symbol is the one of a high explosive shell. So this is a rocket propelled high explosive shell and you also have no range indicator in the uh, in the crosshair when you load the HE so it's really weird but it has 38 millimeters of penetration at any angle at any distance so here I try my luck versus this guy and uh, yeah then I get some visitors around here so while I clean that side of the map um, I tried my best, but it just wasn't good enough. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. So I'm a little bit split about this thing because especially in city maps, the missiles are really not so great. But on wide open maps, on maps where you can move and position yourself and have time to just uh, look around, this is pretty good. This is pretty good to have. But again, in close quarter city maps where there are all the bushes, fences, trees and other obstacles in the way, you kind of see where this is going. But again, on open maps like these, uh, you can swat helicopters out of the sky. So the tank has its place, but I'm not quite sure about the uh, battle rating. Because uh, as you can see here in the city map, a lot of tanks are running around with stabilizers, they have fast firing guns, uh, you don't have any sort of armor of any value to be honest. And I think that in most situations a normal tank will do better, not just only because of the reload and the gun stabilizer, 
but just simply to have the option of APDS or APFSDS where you can just without planning too much shoot through a lot of the obstacles and still damage or outright kill the opponent and this is one of those factors that must not be um, overlooked another thing is that I changed a little bit my playstyle normally I go on a rather ro uh, rogue way a solo uh, kill the entire enemy team way right and uh, that is ready crowned with success and so this is where I then stick to teammates up until the point that I find a uh, position to camp and this gameplay is kind of a little bit too much uh, when it comes to it but again the map is extremely extremely small and we have now pushed the entire enemy team in one corner of the map and so I have to just simply hold my position and on this map there is one location that nobody looks at nobody just gives a damn that there is a a uh, hill of dirt or rubble this one and this is where I more or less remain for the rest of the gameplay and you will see how this will pay off now to have the flexibility to swat some helicopters out of the sky I'm not quite sure how much value this will have in the next patch also the range with uh, what 3.8 kilometers is not the highest but versus everything that is not a long range uh, missile spamming helicopters such as the KF-50 or the upcoming KF-52 um, this might just work much like versus things like these the reason I don't shoot him outright is because I heard another tank now the question is again is this spawn camping or is this just tactical positioning I couldn't fire at this SPA on the other hand he just he just presents himself as such an easy kill I had no choice now I have to reload for 12 seconds and then shoot at the helicopter that again gladly hasn't seen me so let's try it out right now right and he climbs a little bit but with a constant correcting we get another heli kill so it's a German Alouette 2 which is strange that I'm talking this in French but anyways doesn't really matter uh, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about so yeah this tank i'm a little bit split it has some night vision device but no thermal imaging it has a little bit of smoke screen it has a heavy machine gun it is decently fast but again it has not the greatest ammo selection i would say it doesn't have really uh, the greatest utility its armor is all but existent and that is kind of the description of this tank so is this tank worth it because you know it is kind of in a weird place first of all it costs you what 250,000 RP to get but then the stop grind is really cool it comes after the AMX 10 RC and might lead on in future patches to some other really funny French things but do you really need it to get to top tier I don't think so and you know it might complement here a little bit the 8.3 lineup with the mx 30 b2 and some other tanks such as the mx 50 super c the Suplin d if you have it um you know it fits in but it's not mandatory on the other hand maybe these limitations prevent me from just storming in and uh, giving myself a little bit more time to think and react and reposition myself so this is why then on average I have more kills per life in uh, one match in War Thunder with this tank than with uh, some other tanks of said battle rating. Maybe the less competition leads to a better gameplay experience because you catch all those uh, enemies that are also rushing too hard. I hope that you get this point. Um, and again here the R3. He just noticed a little bit too late what was coming for him and this is my sixth kill so again a tank ace and also a kill on a helicopter and that was in this case the match without further ado let's have a quick look at the post battle results and we got here a nice survivor medal and yeah i always love to get a cap and a haiti kill and a tank ace that's just really rounding it up to get 
43,000 civil lines and nearly 5,800 modification research points together with the survivor award is always nice. So I'm still a little bit uh, split upon the opinion on this tank. For me, it was nice to play, but not really something that I was excited for. And I hope that you forgive me, my dear French subscribers. But this is not the most exciting French thing that I saw in the French tech tree. So with that said, that's it for me today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. As usual, let me know in the comment section what you think about this tank. Give this video a like with it and subscribe if you want to see more. And as usual, we will see each other on the waves, in the skies and on the battlefields of War Thunder.